Hello, it's Chandler Klebs again, and I just have some a very short video I want to record. There's something I want to say because I I don't often get the chance to say this, but so yesterday I was watching um, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone with my mom, and she checked it out because she she listened to the audio book because she's in a book club, and that was the book that they were doing recently, and so. She listened to the book. I haven't listened to the book itself, but then we watched the movie together. <clears throat> and it seems like every 15 minutes or so, uh, something happens and she gets all triggered. And she says, y you see the bad message this sends to kids? You know, she's like, like this, is, this is bad because it gives kids the message that the answer to their problems is is witchcraft and it's it's occultic or demonic or something and and, and the thing is I, I expected this because I know that Christians usually are against Harry Potter um, they don't like it because it contains witchcraft but here's something I have to say and this is just something I w wanna say once because it's on my mind and <sighs> People aren't going to like this, but I got news for you, people. The Jesus you claim is God and your Lord and Savior or whatever is a wizard. That's right. Jesus is a wizard, and he's just as powerful as Harry Potter or Lord Voldemort or whatever wizard you can take from fiction, whether Harry Potter or anything else. He did miracles, which are no different than magic. The miracles of Jesus turning water into wine walking on water, raising the dead, healing the sick, multiplying food, all of the miracles supposedly done by Jesus are uh, magic, just like in another fictional book about magic. Whether you call it miracles or magic, what it's about is it's a, it's a fictional story where somebody breaks, breaks all the laws of nature and does stuff that can't be done. And so here's the thing is that my mom thinks it's a bad influence to um, for for kids to to read this or watch this because they get the idea that when people are abusing them, when they're bad to them or whatever, that they can just use magic and fight them off, which is the appeal. I mean, I like that idea. I think a lot of kids and other people like that idea, sort of like the movie Matilda, which I also watched years ago. My mom really didn't like. But it's the idea that, you know, there's some kid who has magic powers and they can fight off the evil adults who are harming them. Now, is it a good influence on kids for watch this? No, I'm not. I'm not about to defend it and say it's a good influence on kids. Um, but I don't think it's any better or worse than any other movie uh, that contains, uh, for example, eating of animal products or or, co or contains any sort of violence, or or contains um, w sexuality. Uh, there's all kinds of things that I think are a bad influence. I've got my own opinions on that. But what's what I find so interesting is the hypocrisy of Christians who oppose uh, the Harry Potter books or movies on the grounds that it contains witchcraft. When Jesus did witchcraft. You don't, call, but they don't call it witchcraft. They call it miracles, you know. The, and I see no difference between that which is called satanic or occultic or witchcraft and the miracles supposedly done by God in the Old or New Testament in the Bible. So that's all I got to say is that if Harry Potter is a bad influence on kids, then so is teaching them the Bible. And there is the hypocrisy. I've said it. That's all I need to say.